What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Score here today, bringing you a brand new Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Playing a little team deathmatch, using the Bison for grip muzzle break. Uh, they nerfed this gun, but it's still pretty good on this map, Strike Zone, which is really small. Probably the second smallest map in Call of Duty Ghost behind Freefall. I'm using that unicorn camo, you know? The unicorn camo looks so good on the Bison. I don't know, this is the first time I ever used it on the Bison. I, said, I thought it looked pretty good, so... I gotta say guys, after all the public matches I played in Call of Duty Ghost, after the 15 days I've spent on this game, it's getting boring, and uh, I'm having to go back to Black Ops 2 some, or play something different like game battles or something in Call of Duty Ghost, uh, to make it fun anymore, and uh, I'm not really sure why Black Ops 2 has lasted a lot longer than what Call of Duty Ghost has. Uh, uh, you can tell by in the playlist that there is only the playlist numbers are down so much in Call of Duty Ghost. I don't know what it is is that kid got shit on, but um, I don't know what really makes the big difference. I, I think a lot of the reasons Black Ops 2 did a lot better than Call of Duty Ghost in the lifespan that it had is Black Ops 2 done a lot better things with uh, trying to give people stuff to work for. Uh, you had the diamond camos, which is something that is so awesome. I don't, that that was the really good idea from Black Ops 2 makers and Treyarch to I put that in the game because so many people was grinding out for it. Uh, it, it lets you use different guns too. Uh, like in Call of Duty Ghosts, there's only three guns that I would normally use, and that's the Remington the Vector, and the MTAR. That's the only guns I've really used in this whole game. And the reason for that is they are just so good at uh, being versatile and there's really nothing that can outgun you. And uh, a wider variety of weapons would have helped Call of Duty Ghost if they balanced it a little bit more. I mean, the, bi uh, the Bison is good. Don't get me wrong, but you can outgun a bison at a distance with pretty much any other gun there is. <laughs> and uh, Black Ops 2 had did a lot better with it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the time to kill or the hit detection that is in Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost has a really good hit detection, but the, the time to kill is so low that you can die without even knowing what's happening if you're lagging. Because Call of Duty Ghost has some of the worst lag kills stupid crap happening I've ever seen in a Call of Duty. Uh, Black Ops 2, they really balanced the hit detection with the time to kill uh, to compensate for how much you were lagging in the game. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost said they was going to have dedicated servers. That didn't happen. Hopefully Advanced Warfare can do something. They need to compensate for lag because no matter how good of a host you're gonna get I don't care even if you have dedicated host there is gonna be lag in the game and uh, Call of Duty Ghost even had frame lag which is terrible I hate that so much on the PlayStation 4 it it happens on the Xbox One it's happened some on PS3 and Xbox 360 but they need to lock in the the frame rate somehow or another and something that Black Ops 2 did well uh, was definitely compensating for the lag and uh, making the game just feel better and uh, if you can go in a game with uh, Black Ops 2 and you have fun playing Team Deathmatch you d drop 30 kills you have fun in this game I dropped 40 kills in this match and I didn't have fun doing it my teammates sucked the people I was playing sucked it, it just wasn't fun. It seemed like all the competition, there's no really satisfaction for killing somebody who is stupid. Some of these guys were just awful at the game. And uh, I know some people would enjoy this, but there was no satisfaction dropping a 40 kill game and just barely winning. If you're not a. My teammates were terrible. It's one thing, it's crazy, but they need to have something in the game to make it uh, a lot funner. Because I'm actually using a spec specialist package here. I'm not even using killstreaks. 
So, do something with the kill streaks. Jesus Christ. If you're our best kill streak in this game is the Helo Pilot, and on free fall it blows up if the building falls down. They're, what the crap is this stuff, you know? And um, I really don't like Call of Duty Ghost unless I'm playing some kind of game battles or playing Black Ops 2. The only time I like Call of Duty Ghost is if I'm playing game battles or if I'm playing Black Ops 2. And one of those options isn't even in the game, so I don't know what to say about it. Um, I, I've improved a lot at Call of Duty over uh, from the time span that Ghost came out. Uh, from Black Ops 2 to Ghost, I've improved greatly at Call of Duty. Uh, used to, I would be happy to get 20 kills, and now I'm not happy unless I get 30. I don't know. That's because everybody sucks in Ghost. Everybody who ever was good at this game seems like they've went over to play game battles, and a lot of to do with that is how big the esports uh, really has grown in the past year, and. Uh, I think a lot of the competition has uh, left pub stomping and went over to esports, which I don't blame them. It's a lot of fun playing those, but uh, Call of Duty Ghost public matches are boring. I'm going to go watch the Home Run Derby uh, for the All-Star game, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys later.